check one two hello check one two okay good morning thank you for joining us for the fourth uh, media briefing uh, related to the impacts of hurricane helene on buncombe county Today, we have um, several folks with us who will be able to provide an update on the current situation here in Buncombe County. We have County Manager Avril Pender, Assistant Emergency Services Director Ryan Cole, and Public Health Preparedness Coordinator Nathan Green with us to provide an overview. And we'll get started with remarks from County Manager Avril Pender. Thank you, Stacy. Good morning. We are in a full emergency situation right now. Please do not travel. Seek higher ground and shelter in place. We cannot stress this enough. What we are seeing is unlike anything of anyone alive has ever seen here in this area. We are related back to the 1916 flood here in Buncombe County. Your safety is our number one priority. And we are unified in our objective to take care of our Buncombe County family. We're going to update you on the status of our reservoir and rivers but please know that our rivers have not yet crested. This emergency will get worse. Let me repeat that. This will get worse. Check on your friends, family, and neighbors. Ask them what their plans are and offer to help. When we can move again, we will have shelters available and we'll talk about those this morning. But again, do not travel. Consider all roads closed. This is an incredibly difficult message for us to, have, to share with you, but our emergency crews are having to prioritize life-saving missions. There may be calls that we cannot respond to. Keep up to date at www.bunkumready.org. I'm going to turn this over to Assistant Emergency Services Director, Ryan Cole. Right now we are experiencing the most significant uh, natural disaster uh, that any of us has ever seen in Western North Carolina, as Ms. Pender alluded to. And with this uh, it is the historic flooding. It's gonna, it is going to reach above any record levels that we've ever had. And we're gonna be waiting for that to crest. Do not think that everything is fine now because it's probably going to be another day or two before we get that. We've got, we've had more than 50 swift water rescues uh, throughout the county. Uh, we greatly appreciate the support from other states, from Illinois, from New Jersey, and across the state of North Carolina and many others that are coming in through requests that the state is fulfilling. Uh, right now, we have over 140,000 people who are out of power hundreds of trees down, and it might be 24 hours before we're able to get any of that, any of the trees uh, removed just so that we can get uh, power trucks to that. I know that Duke Energy and French Broad Electric have crews, significant crews in the area that's ready to get going and work through this as soon as uh, they are able to due to the high winds that, that does limit them and they've told us that uh, they're ready to go as soon as they can do that. The North Fork Reservoir, the, um, our city partners have uh, um, kept us up to date on what's going on with, uh, with it. It did reach the spillway and as it did that there is controlled uh, releases, they have controlled methods built into the system of how that water releases. However, as the water uh, does come across the spillway, it does increase the amount of water that's in the Swannanoa Valley, which is going to increase the flood waters that we have uh, just due to that water coming out of the mountains uh, above the reservoir and pushing through. And so uh, that has hampered some of our rescue efforts and it's also uh, been a significant impact to the people in our community. We did have uh, Camp Lake on Balsam Road uh, to breach and lose the water there, also adding to the Swannanoa River and increasing that. We have 911 calls that uh, we cannot respond to at this time, and we are stacking, or we are prioritizing those 911 calls to what, what is uh, most critical and there's some areas that we can't even reach just because of 
roads uh, being closed, roads being washed out, and not being able to get there. We, did, we have had a structural collapse in Asheville that uh, one of our teams is re responding to, and right now we have uh, four houses that has been as a result of a mudslide uh, with uh, victims in those houses that are not accounted for that we're trying to, just trying to get crews to that. Um, at this time, Nathan Green, our public health preparedness coordinator, will be providing details on our uh, sheltering operations. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nathan Green and I'm the public health preparedness coordinator for Buncombe County HHS. Right now we have two mass shelters designed to provide safe, a safe location for people who are unable to safely stay in their homes. One being the WNC Agricultural Center and the other Harris Cherokee Center. Any rumors to the contrary are not accurate. The Ag Center is located at 1301 Fanning Bridge Road in Fletcher, North Carolina. That shelter will be located in the Davis Building of the Agricultural Center. Harris Cherokee Center is located at 87 Haywood Street in downtown Asheville. Upon arrival, if you choose to shelter, you'll be asked to fill out a registration form that essentially tells us what language you speak, who you are, what conditions brought you to the shelter, and who to contact about your welfare if it should be needed. As you prepare to go to an emergency shelter, we ask that you plan to bring the following essential items for each member of your family that's sheltering. Prescription and emergency medicines, foods that meet usual dietary requirements, imp important personal documents, extra clothing, pillow, blankets, and hygiene supplies, comfort item, items such as books, music, headphones, supplies needed for children's infants such as diapers, formula, and toys, special items for your family members, such as the elderly or disabled, chargers for any electric electronic devices that you bring with you, or books and games and other ways to entertain yourself while you're at the shelter. Shelters are staffed by a mixture of Red Cross and Buncombe County employees. Public health regulations do not permit pets inside the shelters. Service animals are permitted, however. If you bring your pet, we understand, but you may be asked to leave your pet in the car. We want to thank everyone who is working these shelters and staff, or <clears throat> the staff that are working these shelters. We have sheltered around 20 individuals since shelter operations began, and we're beginning to see more individuals come in as evacuations proceed. There's also code purple shelters available through ABCCM for our unhoused population. For people looking to additional accommodations, Explore Asheville has worked with local hospitals to make affordable rooms available for residents who are seeking shelter from the storm. The link for that information can be found at www.bunkumready.org. Thank you. Okay, well this concludes the um, update portion of our media briefing. Uh, now we will open it up to uh, questions from the media partners who are on the line. Feel free to unmute or type them into the chat. I think we're muted. Um, hang on one second, Mark. Should be able to speak. Can you unmute, Mark? You'll type your question into the chat, Mark. We can respond to it that way. We're not hearing any audio. Mm -hmm. 
We're, we're unable to get any audio. I can start. Do you want me to see if I get audio on mine? For our members of the media, you can email prteam at buncombecounty.org and we will get those responses to you immediately. We will have another media briefing at 4 p.m. Uh, we'll be joined by representatives from the city of Asheville at that time. Um, but at this time, as we are unable to hear, uh, Mark Merritt has asked, can you tell us more about the mudslide, where it is, when it happened, how much damage? <clears throat> Excuse me, I know it happened in um, Tunnel Road in Asheville, North Carolina, but I do not have what specific damage has happened at that time. So we'll investigate that and get that back to you. But it is on Tunnel Road and Tunnel Road is now closed. So. And if you can continue to type your questions into the chat, please. Okay. Um, well, thank you for joining us. Again, you can email your questions to pr at buncombecounty.org, and we will do our best to respond to your inquiries as soon as we are able to. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back at 4 p.m. today on Facebook Live. Thank you.